Is the background from me very loud? No. Good morning, Manathea Meshed, where Lord comes in God's love, which is the Opus. Welcome to God's Love International here in Spokane, Washington, and in Kuwait City, Kuwait, with my beautiful daughter, Rowena. Let us pray this morning, shall we? Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this opportunity to come before you, to lift you up, to glorify you, and to honor you, Lord. Lord, be with this service today. Bless it, mold it, make it to be yours, Lord. Guide us that we are one in you. Guide us that we know your wisdom, your understanding, and knowledge in all manners of workmanship, that everything that we do, Lord, glorifies and honors you and lifts you up. Lord, Heavenly Father, we just ask that you, Lord, be with this, be with this service, Lord. Allow it to be all about you. Allow it to be glorifying you in everything that we do and say that you, Lord, you, Lord, receive the Theopolis that you send to us. In your holy and precious name, Yahweh Yeshua, we pray and we claim this petition. Amen, 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 amen. Let us go to song this morning, shall we? Oh, 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 never gonna leave me, never gonna leave. Oh, 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 never gonna leave me, never gonna leave. Me, never gonna leave. There may be giants in the land. Oh, take me. There may be trials all around that string. I found you know my name, you know my heart. You know my name, you know my heart. You've been here from the very start. Guide my life never leave. You are here with me. Oh, my shepherd, I will follow you. I will, I will. Oh, my shepherd, I will trust in you. I will, I will. With me everywhere I go. Oh, oh, oh. Never gonna leave me, never gonna leave. Oh, 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 never gonna leave me, never gonna leave. There may be giants in the land. Oh, Lord, you take my hand. There may be troubles all around that spring. I found my, my name, you know, my heart. You've been here from the very start. Guide my life to never leave. You are here with me. Oh, my shepherd, I will follow you. I, I know. You are here, I know. Oh, my shepherd, I will trust in you. I know. I you are with me everywhere I oh, 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 shepherd, I will follow you. I flow, I flow. You are here, I know. Oh, my shepherd, I will trust in you. I flow, I flow. You are with me everywhere I oh, 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 oh. never gonna leave me, never gonna leave me. Oh, 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 oh. never gonna leave, me. never gonna leave. Me. Amen. Praise the Lord, He will never leave us. Oh, I love it. I love it. He will never leave us. Let's go to another song. Mm -hmm. 
My God is so big. He's so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. In the beginning, God did everything. God simply spoke and the world came to be. He sent the flood and made everything new. Parted the sea, let the people walk through. The giant right down. Joshua marched in the walls from the ground. He's like the power of worthy and praise. But if you want to question, my God is playing. Say, my God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Though we are sinners, he still gave us one. God sent his son to live here on the earth. He healed the sick, he made blind and deep. Let the lame walk and he set the world free. He died on the cross and he rose from the grave. He conquered sin, he is mighty to save. He went to heaven and he's coming back. God's word is true. But if it's a tack, I look you in the eye and say, my God, it's so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. God is the spirit. God the Father, God the Son. One plus one plus one plus one. God is the Spirit, God the Father, God the Son. One plus one plus one plus one. You know, oh what my God, I want to live so the whole world can see that my heart's changed, I'm breathing and new. I hope you will see it in me. Look the world in the eyes. Look the world in the eye and say, my God is so big and so strong, so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. He's so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Oh, I love it. There is nothing Amen. God cannot do. Amen. 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 That God is always finding us. There was a shepherd who had a hundred sheep. He loved each one of them and watched them carefully. He went one more and they come to grace. Oh, he left the ninety-nine to find the one who strayed. God is like the shepherd. He's going to search and search and search. Yeah, we are found. Never give up. He'll never let out. Keep on looking until the lost are found. Never give up. He'll never wear out. Gonna keep on looking until the lost are found. Lost are found. All found was a woman who had ten silver coins. Day one came missing, but soon she would be. 
We have just going to going to hide place. Oh, all good friends and neighbors to come and settle. I just like the woman gonna search and search and search until we up down. Never give up, you'll never wear her out. It's gonna be good until the lost are found. You never give up, you'll never wear her out. It's gonna keep looking till the lost are found. Lost are found. Up found. We that on our own. It has to find us through us home. Can't our way back on our own. But if it's to find us, we are found. Never give up, we'll never wear out. It's gonna keep you till the lost are found. Never give up, you'll never wear out. It's gonna keep you till the lost are found. Till the lost are found. Lost are found. Are you lost this morning? Do you need to be found? I know I'm lost and always need God to find me. Amen. But praise the Lord. He tells us who we are so that we are found. And we are his. We are his children. We're my that the highest king would welcome me. I was lost, but he bought me and oh, his love for me. Who oh, is love for me? The sun sets free. Oh, he's free indeed. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. Be blessed, friends. His grace runs deep. I was a slave to sin. Jesus died for me. Yes, he died for me. The sun sets free. Oh, he's free. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. My father's house, there's a place for me. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. I am chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. You are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. I am chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. You are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. And who you say I am, the sun sets free, always free and I'm a child of God, yes I am, in my father's house, there's a place for I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. In my father's house, there's a place for you. You're a child of God. Yes, you are. Ah, praise the Lord, you're a child of God this morning. Amen. Joseph, can you pray us in? Yes, sir.
Heavenly gracious Father, we thank you, Father, for this time, Father. We thanking you, Lord, uh, for giving us this time, Lord, and thanking you, Lord, for giving us the time, Lord, to worship you, Lord, to order your Lord, and lift up your name so high, Lord, as we're going to start this service, Lord. Uh, we are praying for the old man, Lord. We went uh, uh, in a half an hour before, Lord, uh, she's in the hospital, Lord, in a critical condition, Lord. We thanking you, Lord, for using this uh, ministry to help the woman, Lord, and uh, get her uh, treatment in time, Lord. And Lord, uh, pro protect her, Lord, give her uh, uh, give her uh, the days uh, she need, Lord. And Lord, give her uh, strength, Lord. And Lord, as the God doctor, giving him uh, giving her the medications, Lord. Lord, uh, uh, let uh, every medicine that uh, she's going to take, Lord, uh, work, uh, work according to its uh, drug, Lord, and it is a procedure, Lord. And we're praying, Lord, by next Sunday, she will be standing in the church, Lord, uh, by uh, testifying, uh, her love uh, which she got which she got from the god and also god from god for international lord uh, lord uh, we praising you lord and we hand over you lord uh, your beloved uh, servant lord pastor donald nelson your hands lord uh, fill him with your spirit lord give him give him wisdom knowledge and understanding lord uh, to understand your word lord and uh, to speak your word lord and deliver your word lord give us your wisdom lord to understand receive your word lord uh, perfect us lord mount us lord and lord we are praying lord that every part of our life uh, be satisfied with your love, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Brother Joseph, who is, who is ill and had to go to the hospital? Actually, uh, she's a old woman, sir, and uh, she had uh, three grandchildren, grandsons, uh, but uh, the grandsons uh, lost their parents when they are uh, mm -hmm. uh, when they are kids, sir. Uh, so the this old man you know, is only one who raising uh, the three uh, boys. Uh, they are uh, uh, they are about twenty five to thirty years old. Sir. So unfortunately, from uh, five days she is uh, having high fever, but uh, we did not came to know about the situation. Uh, uh, in high uh, one hour ago, we got uh, the news she was in serious condition. So we went to the hospital and. Uh, we took care of her, sir, and also we helped them uh, for the treatment procedure, sir. Uh, she's doing good now, sir. She is uh, sitting and uh, is uh, explaining the situation and uh, the condition she had to the doctor, sir. So, uh, dad and mom uh, were there uh, with the boys, sir. Uh, I came back for the meeting, sir. Thank you so much for going to the hospital and being with her and praying with her. Really appreciate it. Let us stand for corporate prayer this morning. Let us say uh, Matthew 6, 13 through 19, the Lord's Prayer, Revelations uh, 1, 3, Revelations 2, 5, and Revelations 3, 19 through 21, 22, excuse me. So Matthew 6, 19, 13 through 19. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Revelations uh, 1.3. Blessed are those that read and listen to all that is written in the prophecy, that adhere to all that is in the prophecy, for the time is near. Revelations 2.5. Do not forget from where you have fallen. Do as you've done in the beginning. Repent of your sins, or I will come and remove your lampstead from its place, unless you repent. Revelations 3.19-22. To those whom I love, I reprove and I discipline, therefore zealously, Repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and answers the door, I will come into them and they into me. To those that overcome, I grant the right to sit down on my throne with me, just as I have overcome and sit down on my Father's throne with him. Those that have ears to hear what the Spirit says to the Spirit of God says to the church, let them hear. You may be seated. 
Lord, Heavenly Father, we do lift up this grandmother, Lord, and your Indian, Lord. Be with her, Lord. Help her heal, Lord. Let this ministry be about a healing. Allow us, Lord, to be about healing all that are physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually ill. We'll allow them to be healed 100%. Allow them to know that it is you that brings that healing. It is you that is the great physician. It is you that brings us to the body of Christ Jesus. Lord, allow us to be healed in your body. Allow us to be one, united in you for all eternity, that we are guided and directed in your Theopolis. We know your Theopolis. We share your Theopolis. And we bring all back to the body of Christ Jesus. Lord, as we transition into the service part of this service, Lord, we ask that you fill me with your words. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Fill me with Rosh, Lord. Allow your words to transcend through me, Lord. Allow your spirit to transcend through me. That you, Lord, teach all to walk in your ways. That we are united in your body. In your holy and precious name, Yahweh Yeshua. We pray and we claim this petition. Amen, 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 amen. So today, we are in Enoch chapter 71, verses 1 through 17. Now remember, this is what I want you to think about while we are going through this. Do you walk in the ways of Yahweh, that you are one in the body of Christ Jesus, in the body of Yahweh? Do you walk in Yahweh's ways? First of all, what is Yahweh's way? Which way? How do we know how we're supposed to walk? It's very simple. John tells us in 1 John 4, 7 and 8. For you do not know love if you do not know God. And you do not know God if you do not know love. For love is God. So we have to understand this. If we want to walk in God's ways, we have to know God and we have to walk in love in order to walk in God's ways and to be one in God. So we have to know how to love not only ourselves, but we have to learn how to love others. And we cannot love others unless we love ourselves and we love God. Later on in that verse, 19 through 21, it tells us that he who says that he loves God but hates his brother and sister is a liar. For you cannot love God whom you cannot see and hate your brother and sister whom you can see. Therefore, God commands us, he who loves God must love his brother and sister. So you see what we have to understand is that true love True worshiping God, true anointment in the body of Christ Jesus means that we walk in love at all times, that we walk in love at all times, and we understand that walking in love is walking in the ways of God. That is what Enoch is all about, teaching us to walk in love that we share as Theopolis with absolutely all. Now, remember, we don't know who the author of Enoch is. In several parts, it's attributed to Enoch and to Noah. The part that we're actually in right now, 71, is actually attributed to Noah. But the writer is actually unknown. Our belief, though, is that Enoch described or dictated his portions to Noah, and Noah was the writer. What we do know is this. I said, Enoch is the most quoted book in the entire Bible. It is the most quoted book from antiquity in the entire Bible. Jesus, Matthew, St. Jude, uh, Isaiah, Ezekiel, David, Solomon, Isaiah, all of them quote from Enoch. So what we know is this, that it, if Noah is the scribe of it, it has to be dated back to 5,000 to 4,000 BC. Even though most theologians will date it to 300 BC, because they believe that it is a mystical tale. They don't believe that it was actually scribed by Noah. 
They don't know who scribed it. But they don't take into account the accurate details of the Nephilim, the great flood, the angels, and especially and most importantly, the theology of the Son of Man. This we have to understand in great detail. The theology of the Son of Man throughout the Bible comes from Enoch. And it is stated that the Son of Man is God in human form. It is literally uh, God here on earth. It is, uh, gosh, my brain just went dead. Uh, anyway. So even though it's not considered a canonical book by most, most Christians today, we must understand that it's actually the word incarnate. Thank you, incarnate. <clears throat> God in the flesh here on earth, the son of man. And it dwelt among us and we beheld the glory, the glory of the only begotten full of grace and truth. Now we know that the word is incarnate. We know that it came to the flesh. And, and the Son of Man is that incarnate word. We know that Enoch is uh, structured with five parts. The first talks about the fall of the angel, and, and then the second is the journey with Enoch, with the earth and paradise, around paradise with the angel, mainly uh, Michael and Gabriel. Then it talks about the secret nation, uh, natures that are revealed to him in the heavenly realm. It talks about the uh, astronomy and the phenomena of astronomy. Then it deals with the most important section, I believe, which is the divine province of the Messiah. That through the Messiah, we are saved. Through the Messiah, we are saved. Now, the structure of the uh, the structure of chapter seventy-one is this: seven and one add up to eight, which stands for a new beginning in Christ Jesus. Or two times four, right? The Son of God times the church. 71 is the product of seven, the perfect completion of creation, Christ Jesus in us, times 10, whose sum is one, God the Father, Yahweh Ah, and it is a symbol of the perfect embodiment of the law being fulfilled. Christ Jesus in us. When the law is fulfilled, Christ is in us. Plus one, Yahweh the Father, Yahweh Ab. There's one theological idea, one pericope, Yahweh the Father, Yahweh Ab. It has 17 verses, whose sum is eight again, a new beginning in Christ Jesus, or two <clears throat> times four, the Son times Christ Jesus. 17 is the product of four, Yahweh the qual, Yahweh the church, times Yahweh qual, Yahweh the church, plus one. So what we see in the structure alone is if the church wants to be perfect in Christ Jesus, if the church wants to fulfill the law of God and be one in the body of Christ, then we must walk in God's ways, not in our ways. The purpose of all of Enoch is to teach all the church, everyone, to walk in God's ways, which is Theopolis, by faith. The purpose of 71 is to teach all to be a new beginning in Christ Jesus. We must walk in God, which is Theopolis, that we are one in the body of Christ Jesus. So without further ado, let us read Enoch chapter 71, verses 1 through 17. Can you read that okay, Mabel? Yes, Miss Richard. Uh, 
Praise the Lord. We greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us read. Verse 1. And it came to pass after this that my spirit was translated and it, it ascended into the heavens. And I saw the holy sons of God. They were stepping on fl flames of fire. Their, their garments were white and their raiment, helmet, raiment and, the, and, their, and their faces shone like snow. Verse 2, and I saw two streams of fire, and the light of that fire shone like it, fifty, and I fell, and I fell on my face before the Lord of Spirits. Verse 3, and the angel Michael black at one of the uh, health 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 Earth angels let angels sized me by by my right hand and lifted me up and led me forth into all the secrets and he showed me all the secrets of righteousness. Verse 4. And he showed me all the secrets of the ends of the heaven and all the chambers of all the stars and all the luminaries lumina, lumina lumina trees. Whence they, whence they pro proceed before the face of the holy ones. Verse five. And he and he translated my spirit into the heaven of heavens. And I saw there, as it were, a, a structure built of cities. Baby doll, you're breaking up really bad. Let me take it over. And between those things, and my spirit saw the guilt and they guilt that house. Verse seven. And around about where surfing, cherubim, and often, and these are they who sleep not and guard the throne of his glory. Verse eight. And I saw angels who could not be counted counted a thousand thousands and ten thousand times ten thousand is in in sitting that house and michael Verse nine, they came forth from that house and Michael and Gabriel repeal, repeal and Fanuel and, may, and many holy angels without number. Verse 10, and with them, the heads of days, his head 
white and pure as wool, and his raiment in the indescribable. In the Verse 11. And I fell on my face and my holy body because of relaxity, and my spirit was was trans transfigured and and i cried with a loud voice with the spirit of power and a blessed and glorified and exalted verse 12 verse 12 and these blessings which went forth out of my mouth we are well pleasing before before that head that head of this came with Michael and Gabriel repeal and the Fenwell thousands and ten thousands of of angels without number. Lost passage, where in the son of man was described and the accompanying the head of days and a notch asked, asked the one of the angels black it as in 40, in bracket concerning the son of man as to who he was verse 14 and he bracket i.e the angels bracket came to me and great greeted me with with his voice and said into me into me This is the son of man who is born into righteousness and the righteousness abide over him and the righteousness of the head of days for shakes him, him not. Uh, verse 15, and he said unto me, for he said unto me, he proclaims, into the peace, the peace in the name of the in the name of the world to come to come for from hence had proceeded peace since the creation of the world. And so shall it be in to the four into the four ever and ever and and all shall walk in his ways this righteousness never forsaken him and with him their heritage and they shall not be separated from him forever and ever and ever verse 17 and so there shall be left of days with that son of man, and the righteous shall have peace and an upright away in the name of the Lord of Spirit forever and ever. Praise the Lord. Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the reading of your word this morning in Enoch chapter 71, verses 1 through 17. Lord, Heavenly Father, teach us what these mean. Place it on our hearts that we walk in your ways, Lord, and not in our ways. That everything that we do, Lord, glorifies and honors you to lift you up and to glorify you. Lord, help us walk in your ways. Help us to understand that we must see that we are walking in your ways and we are guided in your ways, which is love, which is love. Lord, Heavenly Father, bless this time together. 
Let us glorify and honor you. Let us receive Theopolis and share Theopolis with the world. In your holy and precious name, Yahweh Yeshua, we pray and claim this petition. Amen, 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 amen. 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 The first thing I want to point out to you is in 71.1, it tells us that Enoch is now translated. He is now transcended into being the spirit of God he is being one in the body of Christ Jesus. Look at this. And it came to pass that after this, my spirit was translated and it was ascended into the heavens. And I saw the Holy son of God. They were stepping out on flames. Their garments were white and their remnant and their faces shone like snow. So the first thing that we see is Enoch is brought into the heavens and he is transcended into the body of Christ Jesus with the holy sons of God that are already there. Get this picture. The church is already present with God. He is one now in the body of Christ Jesus that he is to understand and be filled with wisdom, understanding, and knowledge in all manners of workmanship. Notice in 7, 3, 71, 3, that is exactly what it says. And I have filled him with this spirit of God in wisdom, in understanding, and knowledge, and in all kinds of craftsmanship. We are also told that we are given that exact same thing, in, especially in Isaiah, or, excuse me, Ezekiel 31.3, where it says, and I will fill you with, or Exodus 31.3, and I will fill you with the spirit of wisdom, understanding, and knowledge in all manners of workmanship. Do you understand? This is the exact same verse. We see it in, Ezekiel, in Exodus. We see it in Isaiah. We see it in the wisdom of Solomon. We see it in Colossians 1.9. This exact verbiage, wisdom and understanding and knowledge in all manners of workmanship, meaning that when we walk in the ways of God, when we walk in Theopolis, when we are transcended and the body of Christ Jesus comes to be one in us and is united in us and we understand his Theopolis, his love for us, we will walk in wisdom, understanding, and knowledge in all manners of workmanship. We will be one in the body of Christ. We will be united in the body of Christ. We will be transcended just as Enoch was, that we understand the love that God has for us. Then in one six, notice that it says, and my spirit saw the girdle, which was girded that the house of fire and on four sides were streams full of living fire. And remember, four sides, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, God the Church. So we see that his spirit was girded. What does it mean to be girded? It means to put on. It means to dress. It means to accompany with or be surrounded by. Girded. My house is girded. The church is girded. The body of Christ is girded by the body of Christ Jesus. It means that we put on the full armor of God. We put on every piece of armament that God gives us, which is his love, his grace, his mercy, and his peace. It is him in us and us in him. In verse 8, it goes on to tell us, And I saw the angels who could not be counted. A thousand thousands and ten thousand times ten thousand encircling that house, and Michael and Gabriel and Raphael and Phanal and the holy angels who were above the heavens go in and out of the house. I love this picture that we've seen. The house is the body of Christ Jesus. There's thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of them. Us. Notice, this is telling us 
that the body of Christ Jesus is the house of God. It is the temple of God. 2 Corinthians uh, 1, 16 and 19 tell us, 1, 14 and 15 tell us, do you not know that your body is a temple of God, of the Holy Spirit, who is of God? You were bought for by a price, therefore honor God with your body. When we accept and understand God's love for us, when we understand that God gives us the gift of the Holy Spirit within us, he gives us the gift of Christ Jesus in us, he gives us the gift of God in us, he gives us the gift of the church in us, that we are filled with the Spirit, the fullness of God. We are filled with all that God has for us, that we walk in Son of God. Now notice that 14 tells us that we must believe in the Son of Man. Look what it says. And he, the angel, came to me and greeted me. And his voice said unto me, This is the Son of Man who is born unto righteousness. And the righteousness abides over him, and the righteousness of the head of days forsake him not. This is telling all that we must believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of Man, the Son of Man is the Messiah, the Savior of the world, that he is Yahweh Bain, Christ Jesus, Yahweh Yeshua, and that the only way that we may be saved is by declaring his love for us, that he died for us, and that he gave us his righteousness, that we may walk in righteousness and be one in the body of Christ Jesus for all time. Notice that 16 and 17 tells us this, and, it, and all shall walk in his ways, since righteousness is never forsaken him. With him, we will dwell in their places, and with him their heritage, and they shall not be separated from him forever and ever and ever. And there, so there shall be length of days with the Son of Man, and the righteous shall have peace and uprightness in their ways. In the name of the Lord of Spirits, forever and ever and ever. There is absolutely no way that you can miss what this says. When you declare that Jesus is the Lord, when you understand that God gave us Jesus Christ to be the Savior of the world, to take away our sins, that we may walk in his ways, when we truly walk in his ways, when we walk in love, when we walk in God's love, we receive the greatest gift of all time. Jesus Christ enveloping us to be one in him, he personally comes into us, brings the Holy Spirit into us, that we may be brought into love, grace, mercy, and peace, and walk in it, and receive it, and share it with all the world, that we may be one in that body for all times, that we might be united together as the body of Christ Jesus for all eternity. We must understand we have one fundamental pro, uh, one fundamental goal to receive God's love, to share God's love, to anoint others in the knowledge that we are the body of Christ Jesus. We receive the love that is God, and we share the love that is God, that all come back to being the body of Christ Jesus. So again, I ask you, do you walk in the ways of God? Do you walk in the ways of Yahweh? Heck, Sorry, this is being temperamental. Do you walk in the ways of Yahweh that you are one in the body of Christ Jesus? We all need to understand that from the beginning of time, from the beginning of everything, the body of Christ has always been the body of Christ, and we, we have been a part of that body from the beginning of time. Our spiritual being, not the physical being, but our spiritual being has always been one in the body of Christ Jesus. 
we chose to listen to Satan and we chose to fall. But we must now show God and demonstrate to God that we love him as much as he loves us. And we must understand that we must walk in God's ways. We must walk in Theophilus by faith that we declare that he is God. We declare that he is our Lord and Savior. And we learn to share his love, grace, mercy, and peace with absolutely all. Amen. Brother Joseph, can you pray us out? Yes, sir. Heavenly gracious Father, we thank you, Father. Time, Father, we thank you Lord, for the revelation, Lord, you have given us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for speaking with us, Lord. And, Lord, uh, we are praying, Lord, let everyone, uh, Lord, walk in your ways, Lord, and obey your ways, Lord, and obey your laws, Lord, and uh, do the according to your will, Lord, that uh, we become, Lord, that they become, Lord, uh, one in the body of Yahweh, Lord. Uh, what a joy, Lord, that uh, we are a part of the living God and uh, the part of the God who created this universe, Lord. And, uh, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the, uh, Lord, uh, the authority, Lord, you have given us, Lord. And also we thank you, Lord, uh, for the grace and mercy you are showing upon us, Lord. Lord, uh, we're praising you, Lord, and we're asking you, Lord, for your guidance, Lord, uh, for the coming uh, week, Lord. Uh, and the coming days, Lord, be with us, Lord, mold us, Lord, and perfect us, Lord. And Lord, uh, use us, Lord, for your glory, Lord, and let your will be done in our lives, Lord. And Lord, uh, we are surrendering our lives to you, Lord. Uh, let uh, every part of our life, Lord, be satisfied with your love, Lord. Lord, use this ministry, Lord. Bless this ministry, Lord. Make this ministry fruitful, Lord. And Lord, uh, we hand over in the Lord, your beloved servant, Lord. Fill him with your uh, spirit, Lord, wisdom, Lord, knowledge, Lord, and uh, peace, Lord. Uh, Lord, let every part of his life, Lord, uh, Lord, be satisfied with your love, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Thousand stories of why they think you're like, but I've heard. Tender whispers of love in the dead of night, and you tell me that you're pleased and that I'm never alone. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. I'm loved by you. I've seen many searching for answers, but I know. We're all searching for ants. Only you can provide us. We know just what we need before we we say a word. Good father, who you are, who you are, who you are, who I am. Who I am.
good, good father he loves us. He loves us with all of his heart, with all of his soul, with all of his mind, and with all of his strength. Mm -hmm. What are we supposed to do? Mm -hmm. Love God with all of our hearts, with all of our souls, with all of our minds, with all of our strength, that we receive his Theopolis. We walk in his Theopolis, and we share his Theopolis with the entire world. So walk in God's ways that you are one in Yahweh. Manathea Hashem, Azul Hashem. Our Lord comes in God's love, so go in God's love. 